So I was having an issue with my fantastic fan um, with this little uh, handle that lifts up and down uh, the actual vent. Uh, it kept on falling out. Uh, and so I couldn't lift up the, uh, I couldn't lift this up or put it down. Um, so I took it apart and I found out how to resolve it. So uh, follows this is just a quick, really brief instruction of how, what I found and, and how to address it. So uh, hopefully this helps out anyone who's having a similar problem. So here's the mechanism that's actually up in the Fantastic Fan. Um, I have a manual one where it just twists this little you know, uh, handle here and it lifts up or down. Um, the problem was is that when I was trying to take it back down, this whole mechanism backed out and um, then the, you know, the roof lid just fell back down. But then when I tried to put it back in, uh, there'll be issues. Um, because it would start sort of lifting the arm, but it would, or lowering the arm, and it was having all sorts of problems. But this would keep dropping out. So what I think the issue is, and maybe I can just show how this works a little bit, you can see inside there's just basically some little, as you turn this piece, this mounting here is meant to stay uh, fixed and it rotates independently than this little cam thing here that then is meant to sit in here just that piece rotate this is meant to stay stuck there and then it's meant to lift up and down this arm my problem is is that from using it fairly regularly this piece here is backed out and now it doesn't you know get the force so my plan is I'm going to take this apart, I'll show it all in the pieces, I'm going to put it back together, tighten this piece up, and then put it all back together again with the hope that that fixes my problem. So let me, I'll show you next, this sort of taken apart and how I'm going to tighten it back up. So there we go. So I've just separated these pieces. So it's just a little screw, Philip's head undid that. And now what I want to do is I'm going to put this back in here and I just need to put this in in such a way that this piece can be tightened up. And I found this random little, I guess, wrench thing that just happens to align with these, if you can see these little indentations there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten this up as much as possible and then um, just give it a try and see if I can get the arm to go up and down. Okay, so I've managed to seat that sort of component uh, in here pretty well. So now when I do turn this plastic piece, when it's connected in there, it's here, and obviously I can screw this in. Then, um, let's see if I can clean this, so I've sort of got a little tripod or something like this. Uh, let's see if I can... There we go. Now, when I turn this, it does have the desired effect. And it doesn't seem to be rotating back out like it was before. So I'm gonna try and put this all back together and see if that was a problem. So in other words, what you're looking for is this little piece, metal piece in here. If it's come loose, then you just need to tighten it back up. So I'll show you how I'm gonna pull this stuff back together. Step one, put this handle back connected here with this screw. Okay, so that's all back together. Now you've got to kind of feed this a little bit. You've got to poke it through here. Then you've got to kind of lift the ceiling up, put this back in, put that piece there back into that hole and then run it through there and then just fit this back up into the ceiling and screw it in. Okay, so I've screwed these two connectors back in and as you can see, this arm is now seated nicely and if I turn this, then it's lifting up and down like it was always supposed to. And you can see that this piece right here is not turning when I do that, so it's holding where it should. 
Maybe I should put some Loctite, but I, I don't want to mess with the mechanism. And I don't want to freeze that thing up, so. We'll see how long this lasts. It didn't take long, now I know how to do it. But So then, next step would be um, put the actual fan back on. So I removed that so I could kind of gain access to all this. I think maybe in hindsight I could have done it without, but at the time uh, I didn't know what I was working with. So all that is, is there's a tiny little, tiny little screw that goes in here and holds the fan on in place. So I'm gonna put that back on now. All right, so the fan's back in place. Now I've got to put this sort of shroud back over everything. Ooh, look, and I've just identified one problem there is that I should not have, I should take this screw out first and then I can put this whole thing back on. Uh, it looks like I should have, yeah, done that afterwards because it's meant to poke through that hole. Okay, so backtrack some of those uh, instructions. Okay, so there you go, I've got that now off of here because I use that screw. Now I can put this shroud back on. Okay, so now I've got the screws back in that were holding this shroud in place. This one and this one. And now I can put the, uh, the little handle back on. Okay, handle, just screwed it back on. Now I lift and let's put it back down again. There we go, all sorted. So we'll see how long that lasts. Uh, and then the last thing would be to put the little fly screen, clip it back into place. Other than that, that is how I ended up fixing this thing when it fell out. So in hindsight, like it fell out, so that means I took out all these screws, do do do. And then uh, I simply locked, there's a little connector in there, it needs to be locked in tight. Um, but yeah, and now it works fine. No need to replace a part, it just needed to be tightened.